What type of cables are used for live streaming projects? Live streaming from a smartphone can require no cables at all. Just charge up your phone and make sure that you have a strong Wi-Fi connection. But many live streaming systems feature a variety of cables that you should be familiar with, including USB, HDMI, DisplayPort, SDI, Ethernet, Thunderbolt, audio cables, and much more. USB cables are perhaps the most common cables used in modern video projects. They're often used to connect simple devices, such as keyboards and mice, to your computer. But they are also used to capture video sources, such as HDMI or SDI, and convert them into usable USB connections for your computer using a capture card. USB cables come in a variety of connector types, including USB-A, USB-B, USB-C, micro-USB, mini-USB, and more. USB cables are usually available in USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 categories. In general, USB 2.0 cables are used for low bandwidth devices, such as audio mixers, keyboards, and webcams. USB 3.0 are used for higher bandwidth connections, such as capture cards and professional cameras. When you are using USB cables in your video production system, it's important to think about cable lengths, the availability of ports on your computer, and the USB bandwidth you, which you have access to. If you need to extend the length of a USB cable, you can do so with a USB extender. But here's a pro tip. If you have to extend a USB connection to a camera more than 20 feet, consider extending HDMI or SDI instead. SDI cabling, for example, can be reliably extended hundreds of feet. It's much more reliable than a USB extension that claims to extend this far. HDMI cables can be extended using standard HDMI extenders. Next, you need to think about the USB ports available on your computer. Some ports on your computer may only be USB 2.0 capable. Others may be USB 3.0 capable. Additionally, these ports may share a common USB bus which could limit the overall bandwidth available to all USB ports in that section of your computer's hardware. Pro tip, if you are trying to connect two USB cameras to your computer and you're noticing issues, try switching USB ports. Sometimes two USB ports on one side of a laptop share the same USB bus. By taking one of the ports and switching it to the other side of your laptop, you gain access to additional bandwidth with that extra USB bus that's internal to your laptop computer. Video connection cables that you should also be aware of include HDMI, SDI, and DisplayPort. HDMI and DisplayPort cables are great for short cable runs and they are perfect for connecting to a television or a camera that's within a short distance of each other. If you need to extend HDMI cabling, you can purchase an HDMI extender, but the HDMI cables themselves generally should not exceed 50 feet. SDI cables can be used at much longer distances and feature locking connectors which help to avoid accidental disconnections. Ethernet cables are at the heart of many IP-based video production systems. And 
they can also be used to provide your computer with internet access. Ethernet cables do not usually extend beyond 328 feet, though they come in a variety of quality types. Most video productions that use Ethernet for video connectivity require Category 5E cabling or greater because regular Category 5 cabling only supports up to 100 megabits per second of data transmission. Cat 5E supports a full gigabit of bandwidth or 1000 megabits of data transmission. Ethernet connections are easy and convenient to use for a variety of applications. For one thing, you can use network switches to connect many devices together over your local area network. You can also connect your internet router to a network switch to provide all devices connected to your network switch with internet access. This allows you to send and receive video from anywhere on your local area network with all those devices that are connected via ethernet cable. NDI is a popular IP video production standard you can use for this. Ethernet cabling can also be used to power devices such as cameras and lights with a PoE enabled network switch to power devices that support PoE, power over ethernet, power. Audio cables are important to understand for any live streaming project. The most common audio cables include XLR and TRS varieties. In general, XLR cables have two main advantages over TRS. First, XLR cables have the required three conductor design to support balanced audio where the signal protects against interference over long distance. So the longer your cables are, the more important it is to have balanced audio. TRS cables, however, can also provide balanced audio if the cable is connected between a balanced TRS output and a balanced TRS input. Second, XLR cables are also able to provide 48 volt phantom power to use with microphones that use this feature. Your audio mixer must provide this power, but the XLR cable is capable of transmitting it. Quarter inch TRS audio cables are generally used for guitars and simple speaker setups, but XLR cables are preferred for many other applications such as professional microphones and digital pianos as well. 3.5 millimeter audio cables can be used with a variety of audio sources, such as laptops and smartphones. There are three types of audio jacks you should know about. TS, TRS, and TRRS. These stand for tip sleeve, tip ring sleeve, and tip ring ring sleeve. TS audio connections are mono, meaning they do not support left and right audio. TRS audio connections support stereo sound, while TRRS cables support stereo audio along with a microphone connection. Both TS and TRS jacks are available in 3.5 millimeter sizes as well as quarter inch sizes. TRRS jacks, however, are usually only available in 3.5 millimeter sizing. Now you know about the most important cables used for live video production. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below to let us know what you learned and what you thought was most valuable. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can download our complete book the basics of live streaming at the link below streamgeeks.us slash basics. Thanks for listening.